Each will control 30 minutes. The chair recognizes the gentleman from Idaho. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I yield myself such time as I may consume. Without objections, order. Mr. Speaker, before I get into the substance of this motion to instruct, I want to thank Chairman Dix and his staff for listening to the views of the minority during our pre-conference deliberations. While we may not agree on everything in this Interior Appropriations Conference Agreement, our staff discussions have been very productive. The motion I'm offering today is very straightforward and does two things. First, it would insist on Section 425 of the House Bill regarding a prohibition on funds to implement any rule requiring mandatory reporting of greenhouse gas emissions from manure management systems. Secondly, it would require that the Interior Appropriations Conference Report be available 72 hours prior to the House consideration for the, for the public and for members to read. This motion to instruct us simply insists upon House passed, the House passed bill's position relating to the Latham Amendment. The Latham Amendment simply says that the EPA cannot implement a rule that requires mandatory reporting of greenhouse gas emissions from cow, pig, and chicken manure. The Latham Amendment was offered in full committee as, and was one of the very few amendments passed this year with strong bipartisan support. Every Democrat on the Appropriations Committee with agricultural interests in his district supported it, and no one made an effort to strike the language on the House floor. Now, of course, anyone could have done that. Excuse me, I was wrong. We didn't consider this bill under an open rule, so they would have had to go to the Rules Committee, but no one did go to the Rules Committee to get an amendment uh, approved so that they could offer it on the floor. It was part of the House passed Interior Appropriation Bill and should be a part of the Interior Appropriations Conference Agreement. According to the EPA, livestock manure management systems account for less than 1% of all human-induced greenhouse gas emissions in the United States. Over 85%, that's 85% of greenhouse gas emissions from agriculture in total come from sources other than manure management system, and these sources are not subject to the, the reporting rule. By the EPA's own admission, regulating these sources would be overly expensive and burdensome. Members of the Agriculture Committee have been warning us for years of the danger of climate change rulemaking outside of the legislative process. This EPA rule is clear evidence that the chickens have finally come home to roost, as have the cows and pigs. If you have livestock or a family farm in your congressional district, you will want to support this motion to instruct. The simple truth is that the livestock industry is being hammered by the downturn in our national economy. If you are raising animals for food, you are either losing your shirt or you are going out of business. That's the truth. It's not an exaggeration. Frozen credit markets have left farmers and ranchers without the credit they need to run their day-to-day -day operations, and many have been forced to sell their land or declare bankruptcy. It was only a few weeks ago that we added $350 million to the Ag Appropriations Conference Report to bail out the dairy industry, which is collapsing under the strain of the credit crisis and low milk prices. And in the Interior Conference Report, we're not only making it more difficult for farmers to succeed, we're setting them up to fail. There's another irony here worth noting. The Interior Appropriations Conference Agreement is likely to include an exemption to the clean air rule affecting ships on the Great Lakes. Chairman Obey recognized that the excesses of the EPA would place additional hardships upon an economy already devastated by the recession. So the chairman has done what anyone in his position would do to help his constituents. He took action. I happen to agree with him. That's no different from what Tom Latham is trying to do to help farmers, ranchers, and livestock producers in Iowa and across the country. The only difference is that Mr. Latham's amendment was in the original House bill and Chairman Obey's rider was airdropped at the last minute. So we're going to protect the Great Lakes on the one hand while we regulate farmers out of business on the other hand. If the EPA had existed in biblical times, there is no question in my mind that it would have regulated greenhouse gas emissions from Noah's Ark. Poor Noah and his livestock. They could withstand a 40-day flood, but they would never have survived the EPA. I encourage members on both sides to take, to take a step back and think about this. Let's use a little common sense here. I urge members, especially if you support agriculture, farming, and the livestock industry, to support this motion, and I reserve the balance of my time. Idaho reserves uh, the balance of his time. Does the, uh